Hey guys, it's Krista, your local go-to realtor on the ground in Central Florida. And today I'm coming to you from a wonderful little town just north of Orlando called Sanford, Florida. And I'm gonna be sharing a lot of really interesting facts about this town as we go through it. So be sure to stick around to the end because there's a lot of cool information that you don't wanna miss. And with that, I'm gonna head back inside to my office where I normally film from because I don't think it's really fair uh, to make you watch me visibly melt. And it is like 95 degrees outside. Welcome back to my channel everyone. I am now finally back in the relatively cool air of my office and let's get started talking about Sanford. So where I was standing before I came inside was on the banks of Lake Monroe and Lake Monroe is kind of the northernmost border of Sanford. If you go any further north you're actually in the lake um, and one of my favorite aspects of Sanford is this lake because it is connected to the St. John's River which you can take all the way up to Jacksonville and go into the intercoastal. Uh, and Sanford does have free parking there near the municipal marina where I was standing. So if you are a boater, you can tie your boat there and hop out and enjoy all the little fun stores that Sanford has to offer. It is within a very quick walking distance. Sanford itself has a population of about 62,000. And of those, about half own their own property and about half are renters. Sanford is the youngest city in Seminole County with a median age of just 34.7. Hey, what's good? <laughs> We're here in Sanford, Florida. We getting lit tonight. Now, downtown Sanford really prides itself on not being an area that has a lot of chains. If you want chains, there are chain stores in Sanford, but not in the downtown area. This is an area of locally owned mom and pop kinds of places where you can grab a bite to eat or go shopping or have a beer or look at antiques or grab a beer. There's a lot of beer in Sanford. For sure, this little town considers itself the best kept secret in all of Florida. An interesting fact about Sanford is that it's often used for filming movies and commercials. I think My Girl is probably the most famous movie and the downtown business area doesn't have palm trees so it can be used to portray either a northern or a southern town. Another interesting little tidbit about Sanford is it has its own little hashtag, which is Sanfording. And that's a term that organically grew through business owners in downtown Sanford. And now if you jump on your favorite social media and you search for hashtag Sanfording, you'll find all kinds of information about what people were doing on the weekend or what brought them to Sanford. So let's talk a little bit about what makes Sanford so special. Well, first of all, it's location. Sanford is just 25 to 30 minutes north of Orlando. In 45 minutes, you can probably get to New Smyrna Beach. A little bit longer than that, you can be in Daytona Beach. I-4 runs along sort of the western section of Sanford, so that's you know your main road to get down to Orlando or down to Disney. It's not my favorite road, but it is there. It goes through Sanford. You can also jump on the 417, which is a toll road. I personally find the 417 a lot more pleasant. And of course, another advantage to being in Sanford is you're in Seminole County, so you have access to great Seminole County schools. Some websites list them as high as fourth in the state of Florida. Now let's talk about some of the cultural treasures you'll find in Sanford. Sanford sits on the south shore of Lake Monroe at the head of the navigation on the St. John's River. I'll skip most of the history, that's for a different video. Suffice it to say, a visionary named Henry Shelton Sanford came along and he purchased the area because he understood that Sanford with steamboat service here on Lake Monroe could become a major distribution point for goods essential to the growth of Central Florida. In 1877, the city of Sanford was incorporated and it quickly became a bustling town. By the 1800s, it had really grown. You can't visit Sanford without noticing nods to the history of the city. But since this video is largely focusing on real estate, let's look at our historic neighborhoods instead. First up, we have what's called the Historic District, and that runs roughly from Elm Street to Sanford Avenue and as far south as 13th Street. There are some exceptions to that, but that's kind of the rough outline. And if you live in this section of town, you just have to keep in mind that you're gonna to have to get a certificate of appropriateness if you want to make modifications to the outside of the building. It's not an HOA. It doesn't cost money to live in the historic district. It doesn't cost any monthly fee or anything like that. They do wanna maintain the historic integrity of the buildings. And so it will have to go under review if you want to even paint the outside of the house. You have to use specific colors. The prices of homes in the historic district right now are running from the 
roughly the 300s if you can find a smaller bungalow, all the way up to a million if it's one of the grander homes on a larger lot. Another historic area of Stanford is called the Georgetown Historic District, and that was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2020. Now keep in mind there are plenty of other neighborhoods that are going to have those historic houses that are outside of the historic district and are still within the golf cart zone, so you can drive a golf cart all throughout um, this part of Stanford up to the downtown and to the waterfront area. And some of my favorite homes are the Mediterranean style homes that were designed by a locally famous architect about 100 years ago. So apart from the historic district, which is close to the downtown area. Um, we also have an area further east in Sanford off of Celery Avenue, which is where the city's celery fields used to be. And that has been largely taken over by new construction. I've done plenty of videos on those. I'll drop a link to one uh, in this video. And you can see some of the new construction that's going on there. And if we travel to the west of the city, so even further west than I-4, there are totally different types of houses there. So you're going to have uh, guard-gated communities like Lake Forest, uh, you'll find luxury communities where homes are on sometimes as big as an acre of land and even some with some actual acreage um, in some of the more rural areas. And you'll find new construction over there. You'll also find townhomes and condos, especially closer to the town center mall, which is the Sanford Mall. I've also made a video on that. I'll drop a link to that. So again, Sanford has a wide range of housing available, no matter what stage of life you're in. A common thing I hear from people who visit Sanford is, gee, I had no idea that this existed. I didn't realize it was so cool there. I would love to start looking at houses in Sanford. A big attraction to Sanford is, of course, the walkability and the golf cart zone. But another big attraction is all the events that Sanford puts on throughout the year. So there are regular food truck nights. There are tours of homes at Christmas time, all decorated and decked out. There are garden tours. Uh, there are art festivals, classic car shows. There's a boat parade, uh, a golf cart parade. Sometimes there is a decorate your bike uh, around Christmas time kind of parade. So there's really a lot, a wide variety of different um, events. There's just a lot going on and a lot to experience in Sanford. Finally, the last point I want to make about Sanford is the vast amount of transportation available from the city. And this kind of touches on what Henry Shelton Sanford saw in Sanford immediately when he first arrived here. And that is that it can be a real transportation hub for all of Central Florida. And so Sanford has its own airport. The discount airline Allegiant uses the Sanford airport and it offers discounted flights around different cities in America. It has a stop for the auto train, which is where you can take your car as far as Virginia on the train. And it has a sunrail stop. And the sunrail and the auto train both have a little trolley that can pick you up and take you to downtown Sanford so that you can enjoy time in the city or you can take the trolley to the sunrail and go down to Winter Park or Orlando and spend some time there. Now, if you feel intrigued about Sanford and you would like more information or if you would like to start looking for homes in Sanford, I would be thrilled to help you. All my contact information is below this video and please feel free to reach out to me.